My name is TJ Singh. I'm the SIG product specialist at ENM. ENM is the West Coast leader in automation. We collaborate with top of the line global network of product partners to provide you tailored automation solutions. Today, I will give a quick overview of how to configure a SIG Microscan 3 Core I.O. and how to wire it to a SIG Relay UE10. Alright, so I've connected the Microscan with my computer and I'm using Safety Designer software to configure three fields. So it's going to be one protective, two warning zone, giving the inputs, OSSD pair first. You will also have one input as external device monitoring, which is EDM, which basically monitors the status of the downstream contactors. And I'm giving two outputs to a stack light, just so that we have a clear visual of what's going on whenever the fields are breached. And we'll have one monitoring case. That's it, perfect. We have the connection diagram of the relay in front of us and we have flying leads coming from the microscan. We're gonna take out the two OSSD pairs. In my case is the yellow and the brown wires and we're gonna put it in B1 and B3 of the relay. So this is the B1 and this is the B3 and I'm gonna just put it here and here. Next step is to jump B2 and B4 and connect it to zero volts. Here it is, we've connected it and we're gonna give this to zero volt. Since this is not a self check and relay, we would use EDM and we would connect the microscans input one for which I've configured EDM input and I'll give it to Y1 and Y2 would be given 24 volts. All right, that's connected and now we would give the Y2 to 24 volts. Okay, so you can clearly see everything is connected now. We have micro scans, two outputs going to the stack light and one input coming in from the relay. And as soon as we breach the first warning zone, we get yellow light. You can even see on the graph right there as soon as we go further we would get a red light in zone 2 and as soon as we're gonna breach the protective zone we would see that the relay shuts off the equipment and it goes off from a high to a low and you would see the lights turning off boom so as soon as the protective zone is breached the relay goes to a low state that's working pretty fine let's check the EDM so EDM we had it with the Y1 let's break the circuit and as soon as I take it out and you breach it once here it goes you can very clearly see it's giving L3 fault and what is L3 let's check it out it says that fault in external device monitoring so yes everything is working perfectly thank you so that was a quick overview. If you have any further questions, concerns, and you would want to know more on the products and services offered by ENM, please feel free to reach out to me. My contact details are right now on the screen.